A 3-2 and two Monday here on the Power 5. Lost both MLB calls in heartbreaking fashion, but then went 3-0 in Monday Night Football, including that pair of props. I know someone down in the comments section was very frustrated I would give out props here on the show. A little odd. That's okay. Keep those comments coming. We like them. Positive, negative, whatever. Now a 125, 102, and 6 overall run here on the show for today. I've got free winners on both of Tuesday's MLB playoff matchups, not to mention three early looks for Saturday's college football card. Go ahead, let me know what you think of these selections down below. And if you agree, don't be afraid to smash that like button. Here we go. Number one, let's start at 5.08 Eastern with the Mets and Phillies. Of course, for the first time in LDS history, we have all four series tied at 1-1. Game threes thus will be critical across the board. Also, after overs went 5-0-1 to start the LDS, it was a pair of unders yesterday. I like the under here in Phillies Mets as the scene shifts to City Field Tuesday. Number currently 7 on the wagertalk.com live odd screen across the board. Would not play this any lower than 7. That said, I'm expecting a very strong outing here from Mets starter Sean Manea, despite a less than stellar uh, career mark against the Phillies and in the postseason, for that matter. However, this season, Mane has been very effective, no doubt about it. He's allowed more than three earned runs in just six of his 32 starts. Looked good in the wild card round, too, against Milwaukee. Gave up two runs in six innings. Meanwhile, Aaron Nola starting for the Phillies. He's not necessarily been as effective on the road this year, but I don't see him getting blown up in this spot. He's a postseason vet. Something to keep in mind here, guys. Each of the first two games of this series were low-scoring early. Game one was 1-0 until the eighth inning. I like the under in game three. Number two, we head to San Diego where the Padres and Dodgers play their critical game three. No Freddie Freeman, possibly, for the Dodgers. That would be big, potentially, especially with Mookie Betts. Now two for his last 31 at the plate in his last three postseason series. Wow. I've said it many times before. Past the top three hitters, Freeman, Betts, and, of course, Otani. This Dodgers lineup does not really scare me at all. And tonight, they're against Michael King, who was masterful against Atlanta in the wild card round. The San Diego starter struck out 12 over seven shutout innings against the Braves. And he was 2-0 with a 3.10 ERA and four regular season appearances against the Dodgers this year. Go back to August. King has gone nine straight starts, giving up two runs or less. Obviously, the Padres have a big edge with King starting opposite Walker Bueller. That's why we've seen San Diego take money here for Game 3. But Bueller was actually pretty good against the Padres his last time out. Gave up just one run in five innings. I like the under here as well at 7.5. Petco's always been a pitcher-friendly park. Okay, that does it for MLB on Tuesday. I'm going to be getting to some college football looks, some early college football looks for Saturday in just a bit. But first, since it is Tuesday, you know what that means over at wagertalk.com. Best bets, including one from me, are available for just $5. Just go over to wt.buzz slash bp, and I'll have a 4% CFB best bet for Saturday available waiting for you. Again, just $5. Today only. Price goes up at midnight just a little bit. I'm going to be telling you about my outstanding football record this season. Now, here are those early looks for Saturday. These won't cost you a thing. LSU plus three and a half versus Ole Miss. This got as low as plus two and a half before we saw some market buyback on the Rebels. However, it cannot be overstated what a favorable spot this is for Brian Kelly and his Bayou Bengals. LSU coming off a bye while Ole Miss is playing for a seventh consecutive Saturday. Kelly, 15 and two straight up, 12 and five against the number at home in his career off a bye. Also a massive revenge spot for the Tigers, who lost 55-49 out in Oxford last season. Whichever team has been at home in this rivalry has done quite well. Hosts on a 10-2 straight up run in this old SEC West rivalry. Speaking of that, LSU has won six straight SEC home games while going 4-1-1 at ATS. Not too often you get them as dogs in Baton Rouge, so take the points Saturday night. By the way, that's a 7.30 Eastern time kickoff. Another home dog. West Virginia, plus three and a half against Iowa State. You can still get three and a half at DraftKings, but I'd grab that quick. Looks like the hook won't be there for long. This is an 8 p.m. kickoff, by the way, in Morgantown. Iowa State, one of the 12 teams in the country, still undefeated. But Morgantown is not an easy place to win at. I think we all know that. The Cyclones do look like perhaps the best team in the Big 12, but 
The Mountaineers just destroyed Oklahoma State on the road last weekend. They led 31-7 to at halftime in Stillwater. Wow. Meanwhile, Iowa State actually trade, trailed Baylor, pardon me, in the second half at home. I think this has the potential to be a pretty low-scoring game, which is correlated with a look at the dog. Last time Iowa State came here, it was 2021, they were ranked and lost outright. Could happen again, WVU. Defense held Oklahoma State to just 227 total yards last week, including only 36 rushing. My God, what happened to Ollie Gord? Is he on a, has anyone checked a milk carton? Offense for West Virginia against Oklahoma State held the ball for nearly 44 minutes. They're going to look to run, 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 run some more here. West Virginia plus the points is my look. Lastly, play number five today in the Power Five. Let's make it three for three with home dogs on Saturday. Hawaii. Getting 21 out on the island against Boise State. Hashtag bows up for this 11 p.m. Eastern time kickoff. Look, we all understand how great Boise State running back Ashton Genty is, but this is a tricky spot for the Broncos, who will have a bye next week, followed by a huge Mountain West showdown at UNLV. Three touchdowns, lots to lay on the road against anybody. This figures to be the biggest home game of the season in Honolulu. Two of Hawaii's three losses this season, admittedly all against weaker competition, have been by just three points. This may be the peak of the market on Boise with Genty's Heisman campaign in full effect. I think Hawaii could keep this close. Again, three touchdowns is a lot. All right, let's now recap the Power Five, shall we? Number one, Phillies Mets under seven. Number two, Dodgers Padres under seven and a half. Number three, college football Saturday, LSU plus three and a half versus Ole Miss. Number four, West Virginia plus three and a half against Iowa State. And number five, Hawaii plus 21 against Boise State. Go ahead and let me know what you think of those selections. And don't be shy about dropping your best bets for tonight. Or if you're already locked in for Saturday college football, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, if you'd be so kind, I'd appreciate that thumbs up if you're enjoying all this free content on Wager Talk TV. Okay, for the first time in October, I did lose a client play last night over at wagertalk.com. As I tweeted, you can find me on X at Brian Power underscore wins. Turned out the old public dog, New Orleans, well, they had fleas on Monday Night Football. Nevertheless, still off to a red-hot 7-1 and one start with all plays this month at Wage Talk, where I'm number one in football this season. That's NFL and college combined with a 29-14 and 14 overall record, plus 41.1 units. It was a 3-0 sweep last week in college football, including... 4% best bet winners on Texas A&M and Washington. How good was Texas A&M? What a bet. Again, you can get a 4% best bet from me this Saturday for just $5 today only by going to my page, wt.buzz slash pp. Again, the price does go up at midnight. So a 4% best bet, just $5. You know what to do. But before you go to get tonight's four or uh, Saturday's 4% best bet for 5 bucks, make sure you're subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel and click that bell for instant alerts when your favorite shows like this one or The Morning Wager with myself and Mark Zinno drop. And that's going to do it for Tuesday's edition of the Power Five. Until next time, everybody, let's catch some tickets.